murder nearby. Huh? Show yourself. Children of God! We are the children of God! Praise me, Salah Hadin! He has found his strength! Welcome! Like what you see? i 
infidel! You will die! It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. There's a problem. I need your advice. What is it? This morning, I went to hang the lanterns for the party. And this troubles you why? I... I forgot to remove the scaffold. Forgot it where? Just outside the Merchant King's quarters, above the balcony. W what if it falls? It could be hurt. Too late to do anything about it now. Just hope it isn't noticed. You can deal with it tomorrow.
Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. If you're finished, I've gathered the information required to begin my task. You work quickly. Tell me what you've learned. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. I'll have your hand for that!
Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere, but drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Someone tell me why he's doing that. Leave, peasant, before I make you. Away with you. Joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruelly. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, 
tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledge myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> Anyone who tries to escape. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance. But my conscience, how could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world.
Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Countering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Finish him by breaking his legs, or by throwing him to the ground. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. <laughs> 